If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. I wrote Sinner Takes All, my first memoir in 2009. So January of this year, 2019, I wrote a follow-up called Happy Ending. And that talks about my life now. And I just- Now is that out yet? It's going to come out for Christmas. So Ooh, it'll pre-sell at Christmas. You'll okay. get a very first copy. Woo! Yeah, you can read it. And it just, you know, our lives take a lot of different paths. Mm-hmm. And that's something about the adult industry that I I know everyone finds fascinating is mm-hmm. people think you can do nothing else. They mm-hmm. kind of just think that you're stuck. And people have always asked me, what you know, but what you do, you know, you're so stigmatized. I'm like, no, I'm not. I mean, that's other people's perception. Mm-hmm. But I've been able to move to another continent. I have an entirely different life. I'm still still working here in doing what makes me comfortable and Mm -hmm. happy. But my day-to-day life, like you said, has slowed down a lot. Also, it was my choice to, you know, sometimes you just, I I just wanted to grow differently. I wanted to learn another language. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just see another part of the world. I love LA. I love America, but I've I don't need to be more famous. I don't need to do more of the same. I don't need to shoot anymore. I don't need to do more of the same stuff. Let me go see what else is out there. And I think that's just how we grow as people. We become grateful and we become appreciative. And it just, what you do every day has such a huge impact on your psyche. Mm -hmm. So, and now that I'm raising a daughter, that's really important to me. Yeah. Is that, you know, I don't mess her up. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. So, in what, being in Italy, do you find that, like, either are you less, are people less judgmental of what you do? Do people recognize you less than, like, when you come here? Like, is just the way that you're, like, the people there, are you treated differently there than you are here? And, you know, the, the short answer would be no. And I say this because my first experience going abroad, so in the year 2000, we used to have the, well, when they when they had the Cannes Film Festival, mm-hmm. we used to have the Hot Door mm-hmm. award show. I remember that. Right? Yeah. So I know I'm taking you way back. I know. So um, I won, that was my first award, Best New American Star. Mm -hmm. And I can remember like being on the beach with all the other European porn stars like Rocco Sofredi, um, Dolly Golden, you know, but over there we were treated like normal film stars because it ran at the same time as the Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So I can remember having like a police escort. I can remember it was just a a different time. Mm -hmm. You know, Julia Ann, a lot of us had gone over there and we used to love it because like you said – I don't know if the stigma changes, you know, of course, what what we do is still not mainstream mm-hmm. completely. I of mean, course. and as it shouldn't be, it should only be for consenting adults right. and for people who can appropriately um, watch it or yeah. consume it. But I do find that they are a little bit more relaxed. Mm-hmm. And I do find that like when I come here and I say relaxed because I've had guys come up to me when I'm eating and they just, they're just like really demanding about an autograph and a picture. And I'm like, it's kind of all in how you approach someone. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they'd approach Jessica Alba that way. Mm-hmm. I don't know if just being, having have jerked off to me makes me a little more, there's no barrier there. Yeah. I feel like from what I've learned, heard from other <laughs> porn mean, stars, like agree? Lisa Ann's talked about this, about how, because you're, you know, a porn star, people think they know you in like an intimate way mm-hmm. that they don't know other people. And they feel like they have more of a right to touch you right. to, you know, that kind of say thing. things to you. Right. And like in front of like your family, you <laughs> know what I mean? even just the poor waiter that's yeah. standing there. <laughs> So there was a waiter once. And, I'm, and listen, I will always oblige. I try not to draw to attention to mm-hmm. myself. I don't like to stand up in an airport and take pictures with people. Like I, I kind of just, I'm a little more, um, not ashamed or anything, but I just don't like to attract a ton of attention. Right. But of course, I'll always oblige, but not when I'm eating or not when. So I remember having a, a guy once and he, there was a waiter there getting ready to like pour me water or something. And he said, so when I was 10, I went, whoops. Like that big, and then the yeah. waiter almost dropped like his, you know, yeah. canister of water because, and then the guy shrunk away. I'm like, we're going to say 18. Yeah. We're just going to say 18. Yeah. Like, I get that you were young and they yeah. think it's an age thing. This is like, I really just want to tell the guys out there. That's not what it is. I just don't need a visual 
of you that, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. I don't know why they think it's flattering to tell you that. Yeah. Like, but um, yeah, like you said, I just feel like sometimes there's no filter or yes. there's no, they forget their manners or they yes. forget that, you know, we appreciate you consuming our product. I appreciate the great opportunities I've had and the great life that y- you give us by, mm-hmm. you know, promoting us and helping us and supporting us. But there's a time and a place to kind of be a yeah. fan. And in Europe, I find they respect that a lot more. I think it's just that, you know, when I go out with my husband and we're eating dinner, people really just don't bother you. They'll come up to us after maybe when we're walking away in the clubs that I feature at. I find the guys are just more polite. Maybe it's just a cultural thing. I yeah. think Italians are very proud people. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of um, – they're also very respectful. Appearance is very important to them. They don't mm-hmm. want to say anything wrong. They don't want to do anything wrong. Mm-hmm. My husband actually had no clue who I was. If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. 